It's time to commit to finding the answer to search for life beyond Earth. The breakthrough initiatives are making that commitment. Somewhere in the cosmos, perhaps, intelligent life may be watching these lights of ours, aware of what they mean. Breakthrough Listen takes the search for intelligent life in the universe to a completely new level. We'll cover the broadest ever spectrum. In fact, it will be about five times wider. The scope of our search will be unprecedented. A million nearby stars, the galactic center, the entire plane of the Milky Way, and 100 nearby galaxies. And it is faster and more sensitive than any previous search. We will be committed to full transparency. Both data and software will be open. In fact, more data will be open than ever in the history of science. The program will spend a decade with a total commitment of uh, $100 million. I think many of us have been fascinated by the question of whether life exists in space, even more whether there might be intelligent life in space. And what is wonderful is it's now possible to do a serious search for it. There's a fundamental question of science. Uh, what was the origin of life? Where else is there life in the universe? Uh, what is the future of life in the universe, particularly our life? Uh, all of these are three questions that motivated the world's space programs, that motivated the world's science programs, and this is the next big step in that. What we hope to do in this new initiative is to think together and discover whether or not we as a planet, by engaging the broadest possible public in the adventure, and if we can think together and come to a conclusion about whether or not it's wise to send such a message, and what specifically we want to convey about who we are. I think it's um, overall accepted that the probability to find the signal in the next 10 years would be low, but I think that uh, the payback is so high that uh, applying low probability to a high payback it still makes a lot of sense to keep looking. It's a difficult search. There are not many signals. They are not strong. We don't know that they are not there, contrary to what some people think. We have done a lot of searching, but there are so many stars and so many possible frequency channels that we have hardly touched the possibilities. If the planets out there are habitable by the billions, are they inhabited? Are there creatures of some sort living on those planets around other stars? And in particular, is it possible that some of those billions of habitable planets harbor intelligent life, technological life? This was once a dream. It is now a truly scientific quest. The 20th century, we stepped out from our planet to space, to the moon, to the solar system. In the 21st century, we'll find out about life at the galactic scale. Mankind has a deep need to explore, to learn, to know. We also happen to be sociable creatures. It is important to us to know if we are alone in the dark. Professor Hawking, you once said, although I cannot move and I have to speak through a computer, in my mind I am free, free to explore the universe and ask the big questions such as, do other civilizations exist? Today, with Breakthrough Listen and Breakthrough Message, we are joining you on that quest. It is time to open our eyes, our ears, and our minds to the cosmos. We are alive, we are intelligent, we must know.